Hello, um, we have, this video is to talk to you about linking classes in Master Connect. So instead of having two small classes, you'll have one larger class. Um, this problem has been specifically at the high school where you have a full year version of a specific class and then you have an A section of a specific class. So those classes might meet together and all those students are in your classroom at the same time. But as far as rosters, they're showing up on two different places, which is making your mastery tracker have two different trackers, one for those for example, fourth period A kids and one for those fourth period full year kids. So this video will talk about how to resolve that problem so you can get all your fourth period students, for example, together. Um, right now I'm logged in as Diane Grabino and she has this issue as well because she has a fourth period class specifically for an A section and then she has a fourth period whole year section and we're going to merge those two together so she's got one tracker that has all of her kids that she sees in class at the same time together. All right, to start, um, we're going to go to her mastery trackers. Um, and to start, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make trackers for your classes separately. So she made this tracker right here for repeaters. So this is her 4A section of um, American history. And then she made this tracker here, fourth period. And this is all of the other American history students kind of combined together. So once we've kind of created those set those trackers separately, then we can create a new tracker to combine them together. And then we can archive those old ones and we don't have to worry about it anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to add a tracker. We're going to choose our subject. So this is social studies specifically. Um, we've got our core standards. And then we're going to choose our class. And this is you at American History. And then we're going to do its description, and I'm going to call this um, full fourth period. So it's all of our fourth period students together. Now, this is where it gets different. You're used to when you create a tracker to importing the students from the SIS. We're not going to do that for this one. Instead, we're going to copy students from another tracker class. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Then it gives us this option, tracker. So I'm going to start by copying over my fourth period American history um, students and we'll get the repeaters in just a second. So we've got those fourth period kids in um, and then we're going to create the tracker. All right, it's going to take a second. Well, even quicker than I thought. So now we have our fourth period. These are the full year fourth period students that are created in this tracker. Now we're going to add some additional students. Now when you link from the SIS, you don't have this option to add students, which is why we need to kind of do it with the copy of students over from another tracker option instead of import from the SIS. For here, we're going to hit add. And then again, it gives us the option to copy from a tracker. So we're going to collect our, select our tracker. We already did this fourth period. Now we're going to get those fourth period repeaters in there as well. And we're going to copy those students over. So now I have two more students imported into my class, which gives me a total of all of my fourth period students that will meet at one time all together in one tracker. Um, this is the process you can follow to fix any of the classes that you kind of need to merge together if you're the teacher of record for both classes. So the A section full year, that's the most common um, situation where this fix kind of applies. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me at msomerville at euclidschools.org.